Good morning, Southeast Idaho. Welcome to your weather hazard briefing. Today is November 13th. It is Friday. We have a pretty active weather system on the way today, and that will continue into Saturday, so we'll get right into it. Um, moisture is on the way. We're going to bring heavy snow to our area. We have winter storm warnings and advisories blanketing our entire region today. It will be bringing us um, snow, heavy snow, rain, areas or pockets um, of a wintry mix uh, for some of us, and then increasing winds, and that will mean areas of blowing snow in the forecast. So gusts of 35 to 40 miles an hour are in the forecast tonight into tomorrow. Um, satellite view for early this morning. Look at all this moisture, all this blue and green is all the moisture um, incoming into our area. It's not quite here um, as of very, very early this morning, but it, it is all coming. So our weather impact summary, uh, it's pretty focused on today and it's uh, uh, surging over into tomorrow for uh, some of the, for some of us. And the rest of uh, the weekend and Monday and Tuesday look pretty bare. Uh, a couple areas are still seeing some snow and blowing snow lingering, uh, including the South Hills, Eastern Highlands, and uh, Sawtooth area. But uh, for the most part here, we're, we're pretty focused on the weather system arriving today and continuing tomorrow. So we see um, some impacted areas of uh, eastern highlands. That will be Your snow will be arriving later this afternoon with some heavy snow at times. And again, you're, almost all of us are going to be seeing this blowing snow with the increasing winds uh, later today. But the snow will be arriving first in central Idaho, so impacting the Wood River Valley and the Sawtooth area and also Lemhi County. I'll uh, give you a peek at the high temperature forecast first. Um, really, our temperatures haven't changed, or the forecast hasn't changed for high temperatures today. So we still are seeing uh, this little pocket of 40 degree temperatures uh, up through about Blackfoot uh, today. So that does play into our forecast uh, as far as precip type goes. Um, we're going to show you two loops here. First, the snow's arrival and the chances of precip uh, as we go through the day. And then we'll show you the um, uh, forecast uh, precip type in a loop in just a second here. But just to give you a, a look at where um, chances for snow are forecast, as we loop through the day, uh, you see quite a quite a number of areas seeing 100% chance of snow here. So you got Sun Valley and Stanley 100% uh, this morning and this afternoon. And then we see the chances of snow increase as we go eastward uh, throughout the day, afternoon, and evening hours. The next loop here is um, our uh, chances for snow indicated in blues, and then our chances for rain indicated in the in the green shaded areas. So we've kind of been noticing this trend of um, seeing uh, rain in the forecast in the eastern Magic Valley area, lower Snake Plain areas. You kind of see it a little bit along the leading edge here, um, but. So that's still in our forecast to see um, this area of um, rain along Burley Twin Falls area. Um, but right now we're seeing mostly um, the arrival of snow for as this band first arrives. Um, and as we go through the evening hours, it becomes a little bit messy as far as the forecast precept type goes because um, our snow levels increase a little bit and um, that creates um, <laughs> that wintry mix um, that we, I'll back up here, um, as indicated in our weather impact summary here, um, we have some chance for freezing precip possible through the Snake Plain and that's mostly uh, confined to the Pocatello and areas um, southwest of there. So not really impacting Idaho Falls or Rexburg, but um, areas that are um, outlined where this um, green area is in this um, loop. Our snow total forecast for this particular event, um, we're still in the one to two or so inch range for um, the interstate corridor from, from Pocatello, Blackfoot, and Idaho Falls. Uh, two inches for Rexburg and our areas where we've got the winter storm warnings out, uh, much higher uh, snowfall forecast totals. So Ketchum-Stanley areas were 6 to 12 
inch plus and then uh, much higher amounts on the western facing slopes of the Sawtooth Mountains there. So we're 16 to 24 inches on um, on those slopes. And then 9 to 12 or so in the Island Park area and uh, similar to in the, in the Driggs and Teton areas. And to give you a comparison of uh, uh, forecast snow amounts, uh, left-hand graphic here is uh, expect at least this much snowfall for this event. And the right-hand graphic is we could possibly see this much snowfall uh, for our area. So um, to give you a look for Stanley, you can expect at least 6 inches. We can possibly see 14 inches. We talked real quick about the um, mixed precip chances for um, this evening and then going into the overnight hours. Now, I kind of just um, take the uh, little blobs on here with a grain of salt because it's a little bit more um, robust than this as far as coverage area goes. But we do have the chance for the freezing rain um, across the Arco Desert uh, later this evening into the overnight hours. And you see it kind of extend along the interstate corridor as we go overnight. And this will actually continue uh, tomorrow morning. And we've got this little patch of uh, possible freezing drizzle from Blackfoot to Pocatello tomorrow morning. And you see the chances are pretty low, but it's a, it's a chance. And if that does develop, it will be a very um, impactful um, event tomorrow morning. So wind speeds, uh, we're going to jump into the, the forecast winds for this afternoon into tomorrow morning. Uh, this forecast really has not changed, so we're still looking at 25 to 30 plus mile an hour winds across the Snake Plain and even stronger on those mountain tops, mountain ridges. Um, continuing this evening, still looking at everything in yellow is 30 plus uh, mile an hour winds. Continuing tonight, uh, those winds do not let up overnight. Um, continuing Saturday morning, the winds start to lighten up a little bit in some areas, and by the afternoon, uh, you start to see some uh, improvement in the central mountains. And then by the evening hours, we're, um, we're less than 20 miles in several areas. Uh, so we start to see those winds really start to improve. No matter where you're driving or when you're driving during this event, please remember to adjust your speed for the weather. You don't want to end up in an accident because they can and will happen um, in these types of situations. So please, please slow down. Okay, so to sum up our event here, uh, winter weather warnings and advisories are blanketing our area. Uh, wind speeds are forecast to increase uh, tonight and continue into the overnight hours tomorrow. That will cause areas of blowing and drifting snow with uh, wind gusts forecast in excess of 35 to 40 miles an hour. And a wintry mix of uh, precip is forecast for portions of our area with a rain-snow mix and areas of freezing rain and drizzle possible tonight and to, into tomorrow morning. If you do have any questions, which uh, you may very well have for your area, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We can give you a, a better indication of what you are um, expecting in your area. We can answer those questions. Um, you can always send us an email as well, and we can answer it that way. Thanks very much for watching, and please, please stay safe today.